So let's get started for all the artists trying to figure out how to get into Mid Journey. Basically, you just want to go to Google, type in Mid Journey, and then you'll find the link to the actual Mid Journey website, which is www.midjourney.com. You just click on that. You're going to end up on a landing page with a bunch of code flying around, the about us, all about Mid Journey, the founders and stuff. There's going to be a sign in for the, the actual profile site for Mid Journey. And then there's going to be a join the beta link right here, top left. You want to click on that. That's going to take you to the Mid Journey Discord. And the Mid Journey Discord is where you're going to actually be able to create uh different imagery from the different prompts you want to put in so you have to have a discord account to connect everything so make sure you have a discord account so when you get to that mid journey discord on the left side you're going to have a ton of different rooms available to you at the top is sort of like where you get started the frequently asked questions getting started you know the welcome when you're getting started on mid journey you have about 25 right here 25 different queries you can actually use uh, to create stuff and then you have to transition to the subscription or the full membership um, part of it so you know eventually you will have to pay for this but it's early so they're gonna give you a chance to sort of figure things out and try stuff out so if you go to the newcomers page or newcomers room you're going to see the newbie rooms right here this is where you can actually literally get started immediately at the command line at the bottom and all you want to do is throw in that forward slash and that will bring up a few different things on how to get started with mid journey and basically the line you want to use uh, frequently is the imagine line right here so imagine basically allows you now to throw in a prompt to actually create something that you you know you just want to see come to life so we're going to throw in a prompt right here astronaut uh endlessly walking the mars desert sunset space view uh cinematic lighting and basically you're able to throw in different words different phrases um things that describe what you want into that command line and all you have to do after that is hit enter and then you'll see the mid journey bot work on it so this is my uh sort of uh, prompt right here being worked on by the mid journey bot so you can see the actual prompt that i made my profile right there i am detour so and then the progress of the actual rendering you're going to have four different images that it tries to come up with and then you're able to actually do different things to the different images once everything is rendered so we can click on it periodically and see how it's sort of coming out and how it's rendering. As it's rendering, it's getting more detailed and it's getting more refined. But when it's finished, like I said, we have the ability to change things up on that image so that we can get uh, a better image. And I think it went to the bottom. Yes, yeah, went to the bottom. So now you have two different rows of things you can do. So the ones with the U, means upscale so you can scale it up meaning that you can create a higher resolution of one of these images or you can get different variations of that same image that you want so the one means the top left two means the top right three means the bottom left four means the bottom right and then this one basically does the same thing again uh, gives you four different images and basically just tries to sort of like a, a redo uh, of that but you know you can upscale this image right here if you like it or you can get a different variation of this image right here and then basically figure out exactly how to how to change it up if you want to so let's upscale I really like this one right here so we're going to do upscale on three so we're gonna upscale three and we're gonna see exactly what that looks like at a higher resolution so let's uh, go to the bottom, I think. It's going to work on our job. And when you click it, it always starts from the bottom again. So basically, there's more individuals in this room working with that mid-journey bot. So it's kind of like you have to sort of wait in line uh, for your job to actually get worked on by the mid-journey bot. But it works pretty fast. It's usually, you know, 30 seconds. So now that it's finished, we can click on that. You can click on it and see exactly 
what Mid Journey renders. I mean, that's a very beautiful image. So we can actually click on, out of that, and then it, if we like it, where did it go? If we like it, we can upscale it to the max. So let's upscale it to the max. And it's working on that job right there. Awesome. So now that it's done, we can see exactly what that looks like. So we can click into it, and it added more and more detail. So we can actually just copy that and save it to our desktop. So we can save that to our desktop and to use for other stuff. We can actually make variations of this image as well. So we can add, you know, let me see, let me, we can take out sunset and then see exactly what that looks like. So we can add different variations to what we actually created. So now that our variation is finished, we can open up that one. It created another four images, and we can just see some of the differences when it comes to taking out a certain word. So that is something you can do with the variation uh, option as well. But one of the cool things about Midjourney is that you can see some of the other individuals creating from Midjourney, and you can actually you know, like something that they're doing and say, you know what, let me actually copy something that they're doing and add it to my prompt or actually you know, get a different variation of their prompt. So I can go here and I can say, you know what, let me go to this one and get a variation of you know, the number three right here. So I can go to number three, get a different variation of it. You know, I can take out this whole section right here submit it and then there's a new variation that will be created um, from this other individual's prompt um, that I wanted to sort of have and as you can see it starts to render right here so that is one of the fastest ways to get started with mid journey you know there's other things that you can do but I wanted to make sure this is a really really quick video you can also when you want to subscribe you can hit that and then do subscribe, subscribe right there. That way you are not limited to the amount of uh, queries you can have. So you can play on this all day once you subscribe. So it just takes you to the subscription page. It's $10 for the 200 images a month or you can get unlimited and for personal use at $30 per month. So basically I have this one right here, it's active so I'm able to do as many images as I want to. Plus, I don't, I don't want to have to be in this room and sort of see everyone else's, so I can actually do a message, open up a direct message with this bot, and I can sort of have an entire room to myself with this bot. So this is some of the other stuff that I was actually creating on the Midjourney platform. So you can kind of see this right here. This is one of my favorite ones. It looks like a a black hole donut with a samurai in front type of thing so you know really it's like I can do as many uh, prompts as I want to and actually have an entire sort of page to myself to actually work on stuff without actually having to dig through other people's stuff to find my own work so that is like I said how you get started with mid journey all you got to do is just really open things up click save that image to your desktop and then you can take that into Photoshop or another AI platform if you want to. So I'll try to have one on um, the Dolly platform where I usually will take stuff that I uh, created here to the Dolly platform because the Dolly platform is different in how you sometimes edit things. So I can show you that in another video but this is basically how I've been using uh, mid journey just to create and sort of explore as much as I can. So hopefully this helped out and I'll see you guys next time. Peace